Good morning, guys. Um, so I'm getting ready for lunch, and I don't have a lot of time. I'm just gonna quickly show you how I get ready when I don't have a lot of time, but I really wanna look good. My skin is dry, I have nothing on. So let's prep our skin first. I always use SPF. I'm using my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. Just whatever, you know. I just like this one because it's very lightweight on your skin and it's not greasy. So yesterday I like passed out a little bit and I went to the doctor like they took my blood and everything. And it has happened twice now. But I feel like it's from sleeping not enough and and waiting like eight hours to eat. And and you know, like we've, we've come to this agreement that I need to sleep more and no caffeine because caffeine literally makes me so hyper. I'm using my Carmex lip balm. I love this thing. I've used like really good lip balms, but I don't know, I always go back to this one. But yeah, I really just need to sleep more. Like this week, I didn't sleep enough for like two days. Like I slept at like 6 a.m., which is not good. Where's my moisturizer? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm gonna use my first Sally Rose Gold Elixir. This is literally rosehip oil with 24 karat gold in it. Y'all can see it. And it smells really good. It smells like oranges. A little bit here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna look here because I have a mirror right here. Okay. Like that. Like that. Just two little tiny drops of tears. I mean, I start with like two little drops. If I think I need more hydration, I'll add more. Usually I don't. I'm gonna use my Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. And this one has like a little bit of like, I'm not gonna say shimmer, but I don't know, it just like brightens up my under eye. Like you'll see, like it just gives my eye like that radiance. But I don't know, maybe it's just like it's hydrating my eyes, but to me it looks like my eyes are like glowing. And so now I feel like my skin is nice and moisturized and perfectly prepped. So I'm gonna take this facial mist that my friend actually made for me. It's just water mixed with rose oil and a little bit of tea tree oil. So I'm just gonna spray this on my face. Hydration, like I don't know, it just, it just makes my skin feel so nice and dewy. Um, so for my eyes, I'm gonna use this ColourPop, I'm gonna use this ColourPop highlighter. It's in shade Might Be. It's a deep rose gold. So when I bought it, I didn't know it was gonna be like too dark for my face. So now I use it as my eyeshadow. It adds like this really nice glow to my eyes. It's amazing. And you know, you could use your fingers with it, so it's super fucking easy. I'm gonna take like a blending brush and I'm going to use my soft glam palette from Anastasia. I'm going to use this shade called Burnt Orange. I'm just going to put that stuff in my crease just lightly. And I'm gonna use my Cover FX Custom um, Enhancer Drops in shade Sunlight. 
a little bit like darker than my skin tone. But you could still make this work. Like I use it in um like I use this before my foundation. I'm not really gonna like wear a foundation all over the face. I'm just gonna use my RCMA um, foundation palette. And I'm gonna like mix all three shades and I'm gonna try to cover up my under eye. Like my goal here is not to, you know, have a face mask on my face. My goal is to just, you know, just wear a little bit of makeup to just enhance my natural face and my natural skin. I got a lot of redness underneath my nose, like right here. And the whole idea is to just, you know, make it look natural and not cover up your skin. The idea is to just make it, you know, like melt into your skin. And this stuff is amazing. I'm using the lightest shade. I'm using the second lightest. I'm gonna put it over here. So I have like a little bit of redness going on right here. I'm just gonna put some on. There you go. And now to set my T-zone and my under eyes, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. And now I'm going to take my Chanel Sol de Tensional, like the bronzer, the cream bronzer. I'm going to take my makeup sponge. I'm gonna bronze up my face. So now I'm gonna use the same ColourPop highlighter that we used on our eyes. I'm gonna use the same one with the sponge. And I'm gonna add this on top of the bronzer and use it as like my blush because this is like a little bit too dark for me as a highlight and for my highlight I'm gonna use my Anastasia Ombrezi highlighter that's what it looks like And I'm not really going to do anything to my eyebrows, just keep them the way they are. And I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I'm only going to add it on my top lashes. Good. And for my lips, um, I don't even know what to use. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna use one of the lipsticks from the Anastasia Tiny Lipsticks Collection. Ah, uh, maybe Spice. So this is Spice. I think it's too dark. I'm gonna see, look, soft pink. This one is too pink. So, because the one that I was wearing yesterday, it was dead roses, and that, that was, it was very dark. I'm just gonna use this. This is Kiss. Yeah, it's like Fiona Natural. Yeah, this is, okay. I 
I like this. I really, really like this. Just one last step and I'm done. It needs the same arm easy. There you go. Okay, and I'm done. I'm just gonna comb my brow hairs up again. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. It's super um, simple and natural and just quite easy to do. And I hope y'all have a really, really great day. And I'm gonna make sure I get enough sleep, drink more water, and stress less, and eat more. I would, no, I mean I eat a lot. But I guess eat consistently. And I hope y'all do the same, you know, trying to be healthy and stuff, you know. Alright, well, bye.